Uh, greetings everyone. Uh, today is Sunday. Um, that's a Remembrance Sunday. And I'm here with the uh, Veterans for Peace. There's a uh, number of them. Not as many as the ones actually... Uh, huh. Not as many as those who actually are pandering to the war machine, unfortunately. And we'll see. Uh, the idea would be to uh, publicize the, uh, this event, this idea, as much as we can. Because all the time, <laughs> did you know that um, Lockheed Martin, uh, the arms manufacturer, the weapons manufacturer, are the ones actually <sighs> supporting the poppy appeal. They're one of the people organizing, paying for it, sponsoring it. It is a travesty. But we'll see what we can do. See you. Hi. Hello. Hiya. How are you doing? I shall be back shortly. Anyway, I'm uh, Edward. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's always the case. It's uh, always the case. They, they told me about what is happening. I came here last year. This was the year. Um, I, I managed to actually live stream it. Yeah. A few more people. It's nice. Yeah. I joined. I'm in the army. I was just. I wouldn't have anything to do with it. I don't even know if I have actually started with the old one. Would you like to. Uh... I can't. I, for me, the one was to have. Uh... Okay, okay, I was with the um, territorial army for about 10 years. And I thought, okay, if I would take all that, I would go. I said, yeah, I'll go, but then I, yeah, my work actually with the ones that she said no, but the second time was my family. And then that's it, eventually I was too busy, then I couldn't uh, do it, then I realized. Uh, I think, Hi. you know, because I sort of joined the army because basically it was an FDA anyway, so I said. Shall I? It's possibly some guy who dies, right? Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, so... Can I tap it and say, is this thing on? It, if everyone needs to start like that, don't It is on. So, what's your name? Yeah. My name's Karen. Karen? Yeah, yeah we were actually, we met again at uh, West Hendon. Yeah. Where you're living places. at the moment, where, uh, yeah, and a few other places, where they're actually trying to evict about 1,200 people? Well, there's 700, there's 700 um, houses. Okay. Um, so we've got whole families in that 700. Yeah, so it's about average, maybe about 1,200 people, yeah, really. Yeah, so yeah, well, you know, the average family is four, isn't it? It's got to be whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, sound houses. Okay. They're not falling down, there's no cracks in the walls or ceilings, but they're all being given away according to some of the two private developers locked down, so they can build themselves over a thousand. Um, luxury new, flats. New houses, luxury flats, some of which are actually just over half a million. Uh, half a million? Yeah, 549. Okay. So, and we're here with the Veterans for Peace yep. uh, today in the Remembrance Sunday. Yep. And so, uh, what's your experience? Are you, you, you said you well, were with the. Um, I think I'm, I'm from the people I met when I was in the army. I was. I was representative of a group that had um, no family life to sort of lead, uh, leave and um, sort of looked for the army really as, as being a home, if you like, um, being able to sort of get away. And there was quite a lot of us um, who had sort of left secondary model at those times, education, and had very few choices in life. Okay. Girls could go into nursing, I'm not that kind, and um, you know, the idea of being shot at is actually a better idea than what you had. It's really bad, isn't it? It is. And I don't think anything's changed either. Um, and I 
think it's going through it and realising that um, what the room the shadow behind every conflict, seeing exactly the pattern of conflict in the world and who was paying the price and who was not. Yeah, working class people. Well, the, the politicians make war and we, we used to take so much flack from it. I mean, at the time we were sort of like, sort of like post-hippies days. Post hippie days, would you? Yeah, post hippie days. So I would call it that. My old, I've got an older sister who was a hippie, and she's in her sixties now, older than me. But they had this. They were very anti army, very anti soldier, mm -hmm. and we got a lot of rubbish. And we, we'd never. There was. There's never been a soldier, all the soldiers made war. It's, it's, it's all been done in Parliament, and I, I know that you know Prince Harry goes to Afghanistan, yada yada. yada. They don't actually bury anyone, do they? No. Really. We get to bury them. And I think it's when I, I, I married a, a bloke, an airborne soldier, and um, it was unbelievable that it, the realisation, to me, it was clear that we'd, that, you know, they'd, they'd gone and they'd fought a war, they'd fought for this, that conflict, and they'd buried over a hundred British soldiers. So imagine that just gets opened in again. All that horrible patriotism. Do you know what I mean? I mean, my old man came back and he had the whole bottom of his feet just fell off. He had trench foot really, really bad, and they had no, they had no um, 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 fresh rations for two or three weeks of that conflict because there's no, when they were injured, the helicopter pilots wouldn't come out and pick them up. The only ones that would come out were the ones that were ex-airborne and stuff like that. It was shit from end to end. It was just that rotten, hierarchical system. Oh, we hate the Paris, so we're not going out for them. Do you know what I mean? And burying them. And Maggie Thatcher was here with her rotten, bloody Union Jack flapping around her backside. It was just appalling. It, it was... I th then, that's when I got really angry. And I don't think I've ever stopped being angry. This time of year, this is when I feel it. When I see them, I see... You know, whoever the current twerp is in charge with their wreath and their little dewy eyes. And, you know what I mean? It just makes me furious. It just makes me furious that they, 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 they don't stop using these people that die. Mm -hmm. They never stop. It, it, you know, once you're a dead soldier, you're a photo opportunity. But don't, don't come back alive. Don't come back with nightmares. Like my dad had all his life from Anzio and Monte Cassino, don't come back like that and drown your sorrows in drink and end up on the streets because even the British Legion don't want to know you then. All that money from all these poppies, where's it going? It's not helping the ones that most need it. This is what gets me. And all those photo opportunities. You know, in America, if you, are, if you have done time in the army, you don't have student loans. They, they actually do give you something, mm -hmm. you know, you can yeah. go and get a degree. This country, no, it's basically, oh, Nick Wonderful, wave the old Union Jack, vote for us, aren't we Wonderful, look, knuckle away a tear, and they don't care. It's just like, totally, it's blatant in this country, and they are using them, and they, they capitalise on them all mm -hmm. the time. Yeah. All the time. And that's all I've got to say, really, is they're just disgusting. And the more they sit there and go weepy weepy over all this on this day, and that's the royal family and all, the more I hate a lot of them. Yeah. And I really do. And they should really yeah. they need to they need to think about what they're doing. Yeah. Well in my experience with the with Occupy and everything else and we didn't realise the statistics that what one third of all homeless uh, people are actually from the armed oh, forces. Veterans. Yeah. yeah veterans. I walk through this city and there is even they, you know the average lifespan of someone on the streets in this country is four years. Um they die. And where do they go? Do you actually ever see any dead homeless people? They sort of come down and hose off the place where they're living. You're given a number. Okay. You know what I mean? Dehumanised because you've got no money in your pocket, so no one gives a damn, you've got no value. Yeah. And the thing is, is um, by not doing anything about it, us or them, they make us complicit in that. And I don't, I've never, I have never wanted special treatment because I was a veteran. Mm -hmm. I've never wanted extra money, extra security or extra anything because I was a veteran. I did what I did and I told you the reasons why I did it. It wasn't because I was a screen patient at all. It was because I had no bloody choice. And there's a lot of young people like that. They come out of school 
they didn't do so well. It's either that or flip burgers in the front or the dolky and being sanctioned so they join the army. Yeah, it's I mean, a great, it's a lovely little scam, isn't it? It is actually. It is a very, uh, it's a very socialist construct, really. If you think about it, it's like uh, I, I remember. Uh, you go to uh, one, it's actually, you have breakfast, it's uh, what, five different types of cereal. Uh, you go for lunch, it's the same thing. You get, you get dessert, you get everything. So you get, I don't know, 10,000 pounds a year. You spend that, you still have uh, room and board. Yeah. I, know, I know guys actually have uh, done very well just because of the shit that they joined the TA or the army. And yeah. they come out, um, I mean, I, when, when we were coming up to actually leaving the army, and uh, we were being offered counselling, because we put out, obviously, the airborne, he was, he was demobbed in all the shop. Um, and the local council made no secret that they absolutely hated soldiers. They put every way shape and form. What, they hated the soldiers? Why? I mean... <laughs> no, I know. Don't, don't. I mean, when you start getting some people said about why they hate groups of people, then, you, then you're walking them path to madness, really. So uh, they didn't like it. So they, they used to have two estates. One was the Totteridge, uh, Tot, 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 Totten Estate. Totteridge Estate or Tottenham? It wasn't Totteridge. It was. Um, oh, I can't remember anyway. And the other one was Denmark Square. And they were both notorious, really bad. And they would dump you in there. And they would tell you, if you don't take it, we will take the kids off you. We'll put the kids in there. That's what they used to do to soldiers. Lovely, isn't it? It is. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, you get these things about um, the war machine. At the moment, what, Lockheed Martin is the one that's, uh, sponsoring the, the poppy appeal? Yeah. It's like, uh, yeah, great, weapons manufacturer. <laughs> and you're doing that. And, uh, I know, I've seen them, actually. Poppies are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I've seen some, actually, they're getting much bigger. They're going to be able to hide behind it altogether. Yeah. Like well, in, in my old shops, we had two. We used to, yeah. we used to, I used to actually uh, ask yeah. for the, the poppies. And I thought, yeah, great. Then you find out how much money that the uh, say the CEOs are making, 70,000 a year. Then I thought, what the hell am I doing this not, for? Not, it's not getting onto the street, is it? It's not getting onto the ones that need it most. Yeah, they, no, it's they, always the yeah. organization that actually yeah. doing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this, this, is, this is War Dead PLC, mm -hmm. isn't it? This yeah. is War Dead PLC. This is what they, they just use a cabinet from, the, from all of them sitting there with their reeves and things like that and putting it down. They are just, just using them, photo shoots. Inches in, like, in unfortunately, like it's uh, sounds sexy, and I unfortunately I was attracted to that at the time. Okay, thanks. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, this is actually uh, we're in Whitehall Place, and we'll be at the uh, they'll be going to the cenotaph soon. So hopefully uh, I'll be back shortly. I'll just upload the rest of this um, uh, of this live stream, and then please share it and to people, veterans especially, who actually are still enamored of the war machine. Okay, peace out. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Shang Jane. Thank you.